Hey everyone, Josh here. So today we're doing some maintenance on the V10 TDI Touareg, specifically the air suspension. So we had a little issue about a year ago where this top mount fell off, sensor arm fell down and that went to max height on the front. So it's just a cheap little pin that kind of goes up through the control arm to hold that mount on, which I think these linkages kind of get stiff from all the salt and crap that get put onto the Ontario roads. So anyway, so that falls off. So I got that zip tied on. The other side, about a month later, it did the same thing. And now a year later, the arm has fallen right out. So I just had that zip tied on there for the time being, and it's kind of worked, but it's time to get it fixed. Um, the issue with this is each sensor, because I need two of them, and that's the only way you can actually replace or fix this, is a complete sensor assembly from Volkswagen at about $260 a side, plus tax and shipping, all that good stuff. So it starts adding up in a hurry. So I got an, another idea on how to fix this, so it's just a matter of getting this apart. So pop that apart, so just one thing to be careful, work around the air suspension on this thing, don't get crushed or your hands in somewhere they shouldn't be. I just got a jack underneath kind of holding it up. So I'm gonna get that apart and get it on the bench and then go on and uh, see what the next side plan is. Okay, so I got the sensor and linkage out here. So you can kind of see what I mean. I just kind of crisscross the zip ties and I put one around it to hold them on. And then you can see that you were wearing into the control arm there. So anyways, that's out, linkage is out. So this would be the ball that goes onto the sensor arm right here. And this is what's left of the bushing. So as you can see, that's pretty rusty. And the reason for the zip ties here is it's just this little plastic clip with four little tabs that are supposed to hold it into the control arm. I think the main issue is these bushings get really stiff. That's yeah, quite stiff. So it ends up, I think there just ends up sitting there rocking like this and then it breaks the locking tabs off. Okay, so two issues that I have here is obviously this top piece broken. So Eurowise actually sells a machined aluminum piece to replace this plastic one and you just basically bolt your arm back onto it. Um, it looked like a really nice design. I'd also thought about just making a piece out of angle iron. All you really need is a piece to sit on your lower control arm. Put a bolt basically this length through here like that. That kind of makes sense because your control arm would be here. The bolt would hold it and then just drill a hole where this arm would go. The issue with that is when my new linkages seize up, that's not gonna break. The linkages aren't gonna break. It's gonna be a plastic arm on the sensor and then you're really screwed. So I'm gonna keep this design for now with the zip ties. So I've got a weak link in the system. And as far as fixing this mess, I have this. So it's an HID ride height linkage. Um, they came from across the pond, so I'm not sure if it's more common over there on cars, but basically I think the idea is if your ride height changes, it's gonna aim your HIDs higher or lower so you don't blind oncoming traffic. Um, so this one I got from eBay. Dark ice designs. I also said if I'm making a YouTube video, they'll give you a partial refund. So I don't know if this is quite what they had in mind for this kit, but the plan is, is basically bolt the balls on, same as how these would have been on. Pop those on, cut this to length. It's about 73 mil from center to center. So it's not rocket science. Gotta cut that down and adjust it. Um, the thing I don't like about this kit was it's not a sealed ball. So that's what I'm coming back to. I don't want to make it too strong. I kind of want to have a weak link there. So I'm going to grease this up, put it together, and see how that holds up. 
there was also more expensive ones on there that had seals on there, like little rubber seals. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. This kit didn't come with it. So I'm gonna give this a try and uh, see what happens. Um, one more plus about going with this company was they sent you gummies, so that was kind of nice. So get a little snack while you're working away, but I'm gonna get this unbolted and get this cut down and then we'll go from there. There's the arm, all packed full of grease, should be set. So now onto this part. So this sits flush with the bottom of your control arm. Not sure if you can see it here. So that would go like that. So my thought is, is I'll drill a small hole right where my thumb is and run just a zip tie up and around that way. It just holds it up and tight rather than having to do the crisscross applesauce and a bunch of zip ties kind of flimsily holding it on. If I can just do one wrap it up and around, it should be better than this setup. There, so we got the new links on. That bottom one was a bit of a pain to get started. As with the fender liners in, it'd be a lot easier with them out, but I wasn't gonna go through all that work. So that's nice and sturdy. I'm pretty happy with how that is. So that zip tie method, I think looks works really nice. It moves around a bit, but it's not falling out of that position by any means so I'm gonna give that a shot and see how that works um, again the only downside will be is this unsealed bulb that's full of synthetic grease I'm gonna fluid film everything so hopefully it can come apart if it needs to be and this might just be a bit of a maintenance spot maybe just make there's a bit of oil and stuff in there because uh, I do a bit of gravel roads and salt and stuff like that so I'm gonna start on the other side here yet and then uh, We'll check and see if I need to calibrate the height or not. So that link fell apart too. And then I couldn't get the ball out. So the ball broke off. Had to get vice grips on there. Broke a chunk out of the back. But anyways. Should be good. I'm gonna drill a hole in there yet and then make this next uh, tie link. So we'll start it up here. The back and the front are pretty well spot on. They're about 33 inches, 33 inches from the ground to the wheel arch front and back. Um, I did a previous video on doing the calibration, the ride height calibration with BCDS. Um, I had previously lifted it at about 10 mil and it was 30 mil lowered before I had it. So I'll put a drop down in the top right corner wherever that pops up for that video so if you are out of adjustment and you just want to do it with vcds you can just uh, watch that video on how to do it um yeah did both sides i coated them with fluid film so hopefully that should last for a little while and then uh yeah just that zip tie on the top there and I think it's a pretty good system. So if these do seize up, I'm going to try and source some ball ends with seals on them. And uh, hopefully that's a more permanent fix. So thanks for watching and hopefully this video helped you out.